He's just a little guy. Yep. What What do you think we're gonna name this one? Um, I think we should name him. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Kevin and this Saturday morning had some thunderstorms roll in so I'm getting a little late start in the morning for my projects I got planned for this weekend but um, we like to keep our our uh, Spanish goats we like to keep them over here on this small pasture during the winter so we can kind of watch them better and we feed them hay and grain anyway so they don't really get to graze too much and it's almost getting close to springtime so we're ready to put them out on our bigger pasture but i have one problem with that um when we first started building these fences on this 12 acre pasture we had sheep so i have one little section where i ran 32 inch field wire and then two strands of barbed wire on top and when i had some kiko goats running with these sheep the kiko goats decided they could they figured out how to get out anyways the Kiko goats decided how to jump over the field fence in between the field fence and the barbed wire. So I went to Tractor Supply last night and bought some 48 inch field wire and I'm going to tear down the 32 inch section and redo it. We want to be able to turn our Spanish goats out onto this bigger pasture here pretty quick because the grass is starting to turn green and it should start growing soon. Hopefully this rain holds off for a while. I've had a lot of you guys ask me about how Daisy's doing. It's been three days now since her surgery so let's go check on her come here daisy what are you doing girl come here how are you doing come on come here good girl how you feeling huh everybody wants to know how you're doing all right guys daisy she's feeling back to herself she's already doing really great I still have her tied up in the barn for now because the vet said that she could still produce the scent of being in heat for up to like a week or so and I don't want any other dogs coming around and then enticing her trying to uh, you know enticing her to where she wants to jump out so he said don't let her jump don't let her climb on fences or anything because it might rip her stitches open so I'm just trying to play it safe here she's doing a lot better for everyone to ask and thank you all right guys you can see behind me the fence i'm going to be working on today so like i said earlier when we put this fence up we only had the sheep and this this fence is ideal for sheep sheep will you can put one string up and sheep won't try to go through it usually but goats goats will try to climb a 12 foot fence so this isn't ideal for goats so i'm going to try to rip this part out on this pasture we only have like 200 feet of this 32 inch field wire that hasn't been replaced yet thank god so i don't have that much to do but it's going to be a pain in the butt taking off all these clips off these t-posts and rolling it up and then restretching the new wire but here's what it looks like this is not ideal for goats at all what they'll do is they'll come here start eating the grass and stuff on this side and they get it bent down and they'll just figure out how to jump right through there so if you ever plan on getting goats do not use 32 inch field wire go ahead and get the 48 inch and even a strand of barbed wire on top even helps so i'm gonna get started ripping this old fence out and and hopefully the rain holds off long enough
right guys sorry i didn't get to film the whole process of me putting up this fence but it started pouring down on me and i put the camera up for a little bit and i just kept going with it uh got this whole roll of uh, field fence strung out and stretched and tied off on both sides i come up about 12 foot short at first off of a 330 foot roll i needed 12 more feet so i had to go to my scrap pile and dig around i found a, like a 20 foot piece so i got it stretched out and uh had my wife come out and help me we hooked up the ranger and used the winch on the front of the ranger to pull it to the tightness we wanted then we put the steeples in the wood post in the corner these winches on these rangers come in handy anyways i had to drag this thing through the pond you can see that pond behind me i drug it through the pond and got it rolled out and tightened up all i got left to do is put the fence clips on you can see it's pretty it's super tight it's just leaning because i don't have any fence clips on the t-post yet and uh, i got about another hour of work left to do that i can do today but we gotta go to town here in a little bit so i'll probably have to finish this project tomorrow so hopefully it's nice like it is today uh, in my earlier video you seen it was raining and cloudy now it's like 55 degrees and super sunny and very windy anyways it's been fun today been, a been able to listen to these frogs sing and the birds sing so it's almost springtime hey guys so we're back from town and we got just enough light left in the day to do my feeding so me and kaya are trying to rush around and get our feeding done before the sun is all the way down and the goats are ready to eat and we are going to try to catch the baby that we just let out of the barn yesterday so the twin of the baby that passed away the other day we let him and his mama out yesterday and they're doing really good we're gonna see if we can catch him and give you guys an update on little babies are only a couple weeks old and they're already starting to eat grain. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's super windy here in Oklahoma today. But the temperatures did get up to like 65 degrees. There's the baby! So we tried to enjoy the day today. It was awesome weather. little guy. Yeah, that's a little guy. Alright, let's go see which babies are in the red tub. Yep. Go ahead. Alright guys, we found the new baby. This is the newest baby. Its brother passed away, but this one is doing strong still. This is the one we just let out of the barn yesterday. He's just a little guy. Yep. What, what do you think we're going to name this one? Um, I think we should name him Bring him out here in the where they're because That's not a good name. Nah. Whoa! It's overflowing! Alright. Okay, here. So, the baby's out in the wind, but I don't think he don't want to be in No, he said it's too windy and cold out here. He wants to go back to his bed. Hey, come here. Let's see what they do. Let's see if they're going to play with them. Oh, they're... Oh. I think they're trying to play with him yep. or her. Yep. He's wanting to go back to bed. Yeah, he's this one. He's this tired. Yep. So, guys, this morning, um, they, like that little baby, were... out 
to mama was gonna headbutt me. Yeah, she's nice. She takes care of her baby, so is this is that the baby goat condo? Is that where they sleep? Yeah. That's their house? Yeah. They feel protected and warm in there, don't they? Mm-hmm. So this was right here, but we moved it. It's okay. The two babies are in there. Yeah, they're cold. These goats are just a couple weeks old and they're laying on the feed so they can uh, hog it. Crazy. Alright guys, apologize. So we didn't have a real long video today, but the weather wasn't great this morning when I started building that fence. I was going to film more of it, but it started pouring down and I just wanted to get it done while I had the day off. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and like always, we'll see you next time.